Welcome back to China Price Watch. In today's Money Matters, we're talking about advertising on WeChat. Advertisers are using WeChat to get their names and products out. One of the biggest advantages to using WeChat is that it breaks into circles of friends. Friends exploiting their friends will look like they're recommending products. Compare shopping sites like Taobao, which use reviews, these sales rely on the credibility of a friend. Many WeChat sellers post a lot of photos and information about their products on their moments, which is like Facebook's newsfeed. At the same time, most of them also encourage their friends to transfer the message for them. This can actually work like a pyramid scheme, where recommendations can give them a cut. Some sellers promise to provide brokerage fees to those friends who recommend and sell their products through WeChat. Because it's so effortless, many take it on as a part-time job. With a few clicks, they can repost the advertisement, and if a buyer bites, they can get a cut. Many WeChat users have been complaining about the excessive advertisements coming from their friends' posts. Users also have the option of blocking posts from a specific person. That's not normally something people want to do to their friends. The products can be eye-catching because they offer better prices. For instance, a luxury Prada handbag is sold for nearly $2,600 in the Chinese official stores. Most Taobao Daigo sellers also sell it for around $2,000. However, some WeChat sellers only charge less than $1,000 because it's a friend's price. The products cover a variety of fields, including makeup, clothes, luxury bags, food, and even houses. Purchasers can easily contact the sellers on WeChat, who might be the strangers recommended by friends' friends. Consulting and bargaining can all be done on WeChat. For Taobao businesses, buyers temporarily pay money to Alipay, and sellers would only get the money after buyers receive the package. On WeChat, the money is directly sent. This also opens the door for scams. When receiving the products through an express company, many consumers are hugely disappointed by the so-called friend price products. Many purchasers find out their overseas luxury goods are actually low-quality counterfeits, and most sellers refuse to refund or change their products. WeChat is actually a safe haven for ripping off friends. Different from Taobao, WeChat sellers do not need to worry about negative reviews from consumers, as WeChat's not a formal shopping site. Sellers of low-quality products cannot hurt their business channels, at least in the short run. It does hurt their guanxi and face, but clearly that's worth compromising for the sellers. WeChat friends aren't always actual friends. It's easy to add new friends on WeChat, and it's easy to delete them too. So after the money's transferred, they can quickly blacklist the buyer. This is extremely hard to trace and easy to get away with. The operating company WeChat has been working on ways to filter out these ads just like Facebook and other social apps do. But clearly their tech is far behind, which might be an important thing to know for potential investors who want to see the platform grow. Don't go away because up next we'll see what Beijingers have to say about advertising on WeChat. Stay tuned.